Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Conquest Ultimate. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be exploring the land of Pokemon. Yes. And, uh, or sorry, the land of Rensei with our new team, with uh, Shiftry involved. But we need to go capture some more of team members because we have some hard battles ahead. They have so many new Pokemon in this game. We have Golem Electric version. What's that one called again? I don't remember. Uh, we have Skarmory. We have Tord. I forgot the Tortoise's name too. Uh, we have freaking Pyroar. Uh, we got Blaziken. They put Bla They got Wormadam. Somebody actually like Wormadam. I, I respect that. I'm more of a Mothum guy, but you know, no, no judgment. They have Salazzle in the game. How could you not fall in love with this game already? How are you not begging me to know how to play it when I already, you know, I put it in the description. You could, you could do it that way. You just need an emulator. All right, there you go. I'm here to help. So let's see if our team could take these guys down. We need some new team members. This map's a little hard to train on, but uh, I'm sure we can figure a way to get some of these guys. Um, the odds of Wormadam and them appearing near me are not very high, so I'm going to move Vaporeon towards the middle. Um, I like that they changed this map, so now you can go on these floating cubes in order to get to places a little bit easier. Um, I would not like Shiftry to die, being a brand new member. Rally... Boost Pokemon. So they kept Rally the same because it was a busted move. You could just actually stand next to somebody and buff you and your friend. So Lazzle's the only wild Pokemon. We just need to kill it. Now, granted, it's fine. Just just push it. I was going to say, this is not a good idea because we don't want to teleport it, but screw it. Yeah, sorry, Shift Tree. <laughs> Didn't want to do it to you, buddy, but we're doing it to you. All right, Orange is going over there. That's where we... Well, Shift Tree doesn't have a Grass move, so he's not going to be easy to get. Blaziken's someone we really want to get. That would be a great team member. Salazzle's going to do their Fire Lash attack. That's a brand new attack that wasn't in the original game. It hurts. It, that, that actually hurts. All right. The Floating Cube moves them. Blue Teleportation. I would. I hope they appear. Yes! That's right where I want them. Oh, my God. That's so good. All right. So we're going to line them up. They're both weak to water. Granted, they're actually pretty tanky, but let's still go for it. Since this is a super effective move and we're killing one of them before turn four, uh, that means they may join us. I can't even hope to live up to your excellence. I surrender. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Um, we're going to have to drain punch this person. They might need a heal. Yeah. We're going to have to drain punch this person in hopes to kill them eventually. Swampert's going to be a real fight. Swampert's are so cool. My friend Vidal loves Swampert's. He's like, man, they're tanky. They have great typing. Like, they could do any move. They have such a good move pool. And he's right. They're really good at everything. So, I agree with my friend. I think uh, they can do just about anything. Uh, I can get a Wormadam this way, but I think you'll be more useful. Oh, you might die to Fire Lash if I send you over there. That is a good point. I was going to say, you're more useful helping us take out Swampert, but getting to Swampert is the problem. Getting there alive is the problem, because you'd be Fire Lashed immediately. You know what? Let's just... Sorry about this, Vaporeon. Sucker punching your own friend. It has to happen sometimes. Let's just get the Warmadam so it doesn't attack us. You're so good. Okay, well, that guy's... Yeah, I'm glad he's joining the team. <laughs> Obviously, I meant that ironically. All right, let's see how powerful you can be. Okay, defense drop. Damn, Fire Lash can lower defense. Swampert's got Muddy Water. Oh, Muddy Water's so annoying. That one lowers accuracy. Shit. It's a four-star attack that lowers accuracy and hits three zones. That's good. That is damn good. Our ability's kicking in. Conve Convalence. That is such a good ability for her. If I'm mispr mispronouncing it, you could always uh, let me know, and I'll ignore you, as I'm known to do. We're going to buff our Pokemon. I should have done that last turn, but whatever. We're going to buff our Pokemon in an attempt to uh, do some stuff. And I hope... There's no way you can kill a Swampert, right? Those things are so tanky. Yep, 25. Damn. What about you? Could you one-shot a Swampert? God, yeah, you can. Oh, hell yeah. Swampert, join me. 33 damage. All right, our Scald is good. You are truly magnificent. Ah, yeah. And now the only person left is just a fire type that we don't care about because it's not going to be on our team. Unless this guy wants it. Nah. I think if a Pokemon is good for them, they'll have a little symbol above their head. So since this Pokemon doesn't have a symbol above their head, I'm going to guess. Unless, unless because it's a modded game, that might not be a thing anymore. Let's find out together. Uh, what is your perfect link going to be? Check out the human. He wants a grass fire type. I only know of one of those. 
I know which one you want. Um, and you, Grass Dark type, are 70% because he likes Grass types. Fair enough. Uh, Shift Tree, I think you can just collect items. That'll be your best use of time. 140 gold, sure. And let's just punch him real hard. Oh, we might get the kill anyway. That accuracy drop sucks, but hey, we got the kill. So Lazzle is done for. Super Potion's busted. The battle has been won. The victory warriors and everything will be in the gallery, of course. Uh, not too big a gain for everybody else, but good job for Vaporeon. Yo, we got all of them. We have all of them. We have a full army now. In one episode, or one fight, we got a full army. We got Wormadam, a bug, war, uh, bug ground type. Perception ability. I don't know much about perception. Uh, help menu, please help me. Uh, infestation, it's a 4 to 5 hit move. Good, good, good. And it lowers range. I like that. Avoid, Pokemon avoids attacks from its allies. Oh, that's actually kind of nice sometimes. Uh, we got Blaze Kick. It has its own signature move. It has a high crit chance and can burn. I love that. And Blaziken's decently fast with really good attack stat. Actually, super good attack stat, given how low his link is. Blaze is a good ability. Uh, Torrent's a good ability for you too. Muddy Water's busted. This, These two are busted. Look at that. Blaziken hits harder than Swampert. Swampert hits pretty hard too. It's its highest stat is attack. Although I think Blaziken's highest stat is also attack or special attack. Uh, Swampert's more of a tank, I see. Like, defense and HP are up. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, we'd like all of these to join us. And Wormadam is a tank. That's all they're known for. Which is why they were able to take the Scald. Thank you. I shall serve you faithfully. You have my thanks. I shall serve you faithfully. Uh, yes. I will use you as you see fit. Or as I see fit. I should check them out to see if I can find their perfect links. But if I can't, then that's fine. We can always go on an adventure. We're already in the month of June, and we have a decently powerful team now. I wouldn't say great, I'd say decent. So, let's see here. We got Beware, we got you. So what is your perfect, like, a Flying Fire type? Okay. That doesn't seem like it'll be too hard to find. Grass Fire, Bug Fire. Oh, are you Volcarona? And then Groundwater. Wait, is this your perfect link? No, it's not. What other Groundwater? Oh, Gastrodon. Yep, Gastrodon, probably. Um, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. If we want to try and get him a Gastrodon, we'd need to be able to take over the water area. So before we do anything else, let's see if there's anything else I want. Uh, none of those Pokemon are the ones that my teammates are looking for. So we'll ignore them for now. I think that's a good use of our time. And let's check over here see if there are anything over. Oh, Lycanroc is so cool. I do hope that eventually I get a Pokemon like Lycanroc on my team. Uh, Sawsbuck is awesome too. My friend Miguel loves Sawsbuck for like no reason. All right, let's see. 896. That's really hard to win against. And I have no grass moves. That would be difficult. And you know what? I like difficulty. Let's try it out. This is a really bad idea. This might cost us, but I'm going to make an attempt uh, of taking on these enemies. All right, we're going to take everybody because they still overpower us. But because Oichi is stronger than their main boss, I feel like we have a good chance. <clears throat> Though I've never fought a Cursula before, so I have no clue what's going on. I've never fought most of these guys. We're just going to Fontaine, and we're going to do our absolute best. The Kingdom of Fontaine. You wish to challenge me in battle, and what might your name be? So you are Cooper. I'd heard that Aurora had a new warlord, but I always thought that we would meet on the battlefield in Aurora, not here. Well, never mind. A battle is a battle, no matter what, or, or no matter where it takes place. One of the reasons I love Pokemon Conquest is the character design. Every character in this game looks super cool. Him especially. He looks great. What's his name? Moto Chica or something? Yeah, he looks great. Cooper's army. Moto Chica's army. Let's see what you got. Oh, okay. This map got to stay the same too because it looks great. I, I, I like this map as well. So no real changes to this map. You're going to see changes though. The Samurott's already a huge change. Slowbro's a huge change. Cradley's new, Cursula's new, Kingdra's new, Gastrodon I think is new. That makes sense. They're just letting us know they can make water everywhere, not realizing I'm a water type, but still. So yeah, one of the reasons to start the game with fully evolved Pokemon is because this game is actually mostly about them, and uh, because everyone's going to be super strong. So I'm going to position my Vaporeon where I think it'll be best. Beware, it would be good. If you go in front of this fountain, you're going to take a hit, so don't do it. You can stand on the corner of the fountain, but not in front. 
Blaziken is not going to be good in this battle in general. They don't have a single non-water type on their team. Like, oh wait, Cradley. They have Cradley. We can kill Cradley. Alright, you can be used for Cradley. Let's position you for that battle. Uh, Shift Tree, having a dark move means you can do a lot, so we're just going to get you ready. I want you in a rallying position. Warmadam, you have Convalence. That's great, we have two healers on the team. Alright, I forgot to check warrior abilities. And what's your warrior ability? Eagle Eye! Okay, so Muddy Water can't miss. I like that, because uh, honestly, Swampert's only weakness is they're slow. Even in the regular Pokemon game, their only bad stat is they're not that fast. They're faster than tanks, though, so that's why they're amazing. Oh, they don't want to move. My opponent doesn't want to move. That means their AI has been, you know, their AI is better than it should be. All right, Vaporeon, given that you can walk through water, can you walk on the gate? Oh my god, you can just walk inside a gate in this game. I did not know you could do that, so I'm going to do it. I have to be very careful with Blaziken. I don't think any of them can get to the switch in time, so I'm just going to move her across. And I'm going to try and get to this other switch while I'm at it. Swampert's going to move all the way forward. Wormadam, your best use is going to be backup because you're a healer anyway. And Shift Tree, you're also just going to stand here for now. Don't worry, we'll close the gate. Everyone will be able to cross. You wish to resist? Excellent. So because we move towards him, is he going to come at us? Yep. He has Ceaseless Edge. I don't even know what that is. I know I played all those games on my channel, but I'm not going to remember. Kingdra has range. Oh, no, I'm weak. I'm weak to it. I didn't know they had that much range. Their uh, warrior ability was to increase their range. I'm dead. I'm dead. I lost Wormadam. And Wormadam was one of our heal. Oh, wait. Oh, they got five hits. Yep, I lost Wormadam. That is a big loss. Wormadam was one of the few things that could actually hit these guys. And, you know, still be good. Cursula is really bad for us. We don't want to fight Cursula. I was born a warrior. Now with the talent to communicate with Pokemon. Gastrodon's going to be hard too. Especially since I didn't get a grass type. That's a bad start. I did not know. They have a poison move? Oh, crap. Yeah, I did not know their ability. And I'm going to pay the price for it. So, you buddy. I'm going to need that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need that attack from you. No, that's not the one we want to press. We need to press the other one. Okay. If that is the case, we need to close this off so we can get to the enemy. Whether I lock it, like it or not, we're going to send our freaking shift tree all the way in. 12 damage is not a lot, but we can't really hit Kingdra with much else, so we got to do what we can. Uh, we don't want to get near Cradley. How does Giga Dream work in this game? It's only right in front of him, but he has sponge ability, so you don't want to stand next to him anyway. Uh, what's your ability? I don't think we ever found out. Added bonus. So in chance to cr uh, higher chance to crit, higher chance to burn. I like it. Uh, just because we know we're already kind of screwed, we're going to get Convalence going. Um, I wish I could push them back with this, but I can't, so we need to be a little more careful than just going in. We're going to set up around here. And then we're going to use our Vaporeon. So Cradley, how much movement does Cradley get? Eh, it gets as much as everybody else. Um, if I stand anywhere, I'm dead. So we are going to try to block our guy here. Or at least attract the enemy. How much movement does this thing have? They all have amazing movement. Yeah, this could be tough. This is going to be tough. I can't just screw around like I've been doing. Alright, let's move Blaziken still into a position of power while also setting up our, the rest of our team. So even if they Whirlpool us, they'll probably not aim at Shift Tree, which is what I want. Although I'm pretty sure I'll lose Swampert, but either way. Because I want Shift Tree to rally us all. Um, I want them to go towards my guys, which means I kind of need them. Let's open the gate for now. Just for now. Yeah, this is a really hard battle. I, I should have trained more. It's a new game and I was overconfident. It's my own fault. Power gem, here we go. We resist that, so it shouldn't do much. Oh, or zero. Yeah, zero's good. This is the one I'm afraid of. He has such a high percent. And he walked into my range. That guy can hit me. Yep. That guy should be afraid of, but I'm not. Don't have a... Does it have the chance to poison? I don't know what that is. Shell side arm is a new move. I never got the DLC to any games. Okay, Whirlpool was expected. Water Absorb means we're not going to take damage. 
Uh, and it missed, so that means he loses his attack. Yeah, if you miss on even one opponent, you lose your attack with four to five hit moves. So speed kind of matters. I can't believe he missed Swampert of all people. Wow. Earth power is far. All of his moves hit so far away. I'm going to lose my guy like this. We got Torrid ability. Yeah, we're going to have a huge attack buff now. We are going to have a huge attack buff. Giga Drain, good. We bought him in range. That's Blaziken's range right there. That hit way too hard. Holy crap. That actually hit way too hard. Now, Convalence should kick in. Fryden's good because we need to lower their range and speed, which is basically their accuracy on one of them. Um, time to rally up. We positioned ourselves for this exact moment. What matters is that we get this guy out of our way. Yes. But if I do that... Yeah, no, we're doing it either way. We need to kill them off. If we can kill the boss off this early, it's amazing. Drain Punch. No, he took less damage than he was supposed to. But our Drain Punch healed us. He has Torrent. Okay. It might be worth it just to... Just to go for the kill. Lose a turn on everyone else. Lose a turn of doing damage just to get the kill on this guy. Just because we don't want the boss guy alive. Okay. We went for it. We did it. So this is it. Yep, this is it. Um, you're at a bonus time. Yep. I know you don't do much, but if you can get a burn or something, that'll be great. This guy is not weak to anything, but pushing him backwards might help us out with our sucker punch. Honestly, I think the biggest thing that happened, we got the burn like we wanted. Added bonus mattered. The biggest thing that happened is that we actually got the kill on the boss. Oh, we can kill him off with Sucker Punch. Good job, Shift Tree. Get in there. Oh, we're getting lower damage than we're supposed to. It might be their happiness. Their happiness might be low. That does matter. Okay, I could do this to hurt the one that's too tanky for us. I know Kingdra is also a problem, but... Oh, I positioned my Shift Tree to die to Slowbro, which sucks because Shift Tree is such a helpful member of the team. This, this guy has shackles, so he can't... Oh, he does not resist us. Okay, I can do a lot to him. But Cradley has Giga Drain and Sponge, so... Unless I kill it with Beware, we're useless. Let's hit this guy. Because Swampert might survive if they don't focus him. Good job. Okay, we didn't get the accuracy drop, but that's fine. Life Force. Ah, it has the healing ability, so we actually have to get the kill. Gastrodon. Going for the two hit our two best members to lower their range. Really good play. Missed our main member, though, but lowering their range is smart because now, if Cradley gets far enough, we're not going to be able to Giga Drain. Sorry, Blaziken, I positioned you. You already did the damage. You got the burn. You're really not... You weren't meant for this fight. This was not your fight. You and Wormadam were not ready for this one. I can't believe you survived that and got Blaze, but we know what's coming next. It's time for a shell attack. Oh, here we go. Power gem. 19 damage. We have a lot of HP, though. I'm ready for the sponge move. Giga Drain is the move I'm the most afraid of. Oh, we lost Shift Tree to a crit, and we lost Blaziken. Huge losses right there. Huge, massive losses. Massive losses. Why are you not going after my guy? Oh, you're smarter than this. They know that they have to kill Beware because they have everything they need. If Beware dies, they win. They should have went after my Vaporeon. The burn did lower their attack, I feel, because they should have done more damage than that. Alright, I'm in a very, very good position here. We don't need the Super Potion, we need the Drain Punch. Ah, oh, they're so tanky. Cradley is so tanky. Drain Punch, get rid of them. Okay, they're all positioned now. Now that they're all in position... The Line of Doom. Try to get the burn. Oh, yeah, they're already burned. Just try to get the double kill. Not happening. Okay, we're not getting the double kill. They're amazing. Okay, the burn won't matter now. I don't want a Giga draining me. I'm sorry. Water Absorb. Gotta love it. Advantage of having two water types. Ah, this is unbelievable. I'll remember this. And we heal our team member. So, we're down to our best two members, because Swampert's dead. They were freshly caught members, so obviously these guys were not trained yet. <laughs> I'm just lucky that, you know, they did as much work as they did. 
not counting Wormadam, who was wasted because I didn't know the opponent had a speed, or I mean a range increasing move. Oh crap! Don't worry, don't worry. We're still we're still in this. This guy's the one I'm afraid of because if he has some sort, okay, he can increase his attack, which is scary. But if he has some sort of poison, I'm dead. Poison would actually screw me. Okay, I'm not poisoned, so so far so good. Gastrodon hurts too. Luckily, we have Drain Punch. Drain Punch is busted. They are shackling us, though. Okay, I think that Slowbro is the only chance of us losing this fight. Just because I don't know what its move does. So let's position ourselves to hurt the Slowbro. Oh, it's tanky. Oh, that's a tanky Slowbro. Maybe I'll get the burn. Oh, he don't move. Yep, they didn't finish the sprite on that one, which is fine. You guys did great work. Don't, don't feel bad about yourselves. You guys did a damn good job. Don't ever let a YouTuber make you feel bad about the work you've done, because you're doing you're doing great. You've uh, done more work than most people ever will in their entire lives. All right, let's just try to kill off the Kingdra. I'd say Gastrodon is annoying, but it's not going to kill us. Oh, I don't need my luck to be this bad right now. I need luckier. I need to get luckier than this. This is not good. Drain Punch was supposed to heal me, so the fact that I didn't get the heal is pretty bad. Okay, he's still trying to poison us, knowing how big of a threat we are. I don't even know if it does poison, like I said. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Whirlpool, yep, trying to kill my Beware, which is why I tried to kill you. The decrease in range is pretty brutal, especially since they're starting to run so far away from us. Oh, they hit, they hit us with range twice, so I can't Drain Punch anybody now. That's actually really smart. I like that. I like that a lot. They're using double range decreasers in order to make sure I can't fight back. We're just going to have to keep doing the Water Absorb. Or, I mean, the Skull to try and burn. We got the burn. Okay, good. We got the burn. We need to pull them closer. If I'm going to lose range twice, I'm never going to be able to attack again with Beware. So I need to pull my opponents closer to me. Thing is, you're the only one with the threatening move. Earth power is the threatening move. So I need to pull you closer over here. I hate that they're double decreasing my range. It's such a good idea, though. He's going to come out of the water now. Yep. I'm pretty sure the water was giving him a buff or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, he was doing like 20, so... Range drop sucks, but let's hope for the best. We got the burn. That's good news. Six damage. Okay. Perfect. Ten damage. Holy crap. We can't even move now. The double range drop is brutal, but they're in front of us and we have the high ground. And for those of you that don't know, the high ground matters a lot. All right. Nine damage to him. Now, to show you guys a little tip from old Cooper, you got a water type on this map, do what I'm doing right now. Remember I said the fountain was dangerous? It's not dangerous to water types that have water absorbed specifically. Oh, you were trying to hit me with your water? No effect, you healed me by 24. Hello to Casual Cooper's training video. Um, do I still have Covalence? No, I already used that, damn. Drain Punch has to hit this time. I can't believe with how high of a percentage it was last time. Oh, we got the crit! Okay, good heal, good heal. Great heal. I know they're going to start running away now, but still good heal. Even if they run away, I can go after the slow bro for the kill. Okay, this has been an intense fight. Gastrodon is coming after my... They want my Vaporeon now. Now that they realize that I know how to heal, that I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to Pokemon Conquest, because I love this game, and I've done everything you need to do in this game, except, you know, deal the downloadable content stuff, because... Um, yeah. Ignore me. Alright, we did 9 damage to you. We're going to, uh, hop on down, and we're going to try and kill these guys. Okay, good. I can do 20 to him. God, that Kingdra's tanky. And honestly, Kingdra's not a threat to my team. It's just the fact that it's, um, someone that can lower range. Alright, there we go. The burn's going to get both of them. Our focus now needs to be on killing Gastrodon, who is not very fast, so we'll never worry about accuracy again. But they are decently tanky. Okay, let the double burn take them out. That was smart. If they tried to whirlpool the other way, they would have healed my Pokemon. 
If you didn't choose Vaporeon like I did and you chose one of the other starters, I am 100% sure you struggled on this map. Because Vaporeon's the only reason I have a chance of winning in this map. That Shackle ability is real annoying, because it's not Earth Power that's... Oh yeah, Earth Power lowers defense. The lowering of range is just because of the Shackle ability. Yep, here we go. They have another chance at this. It is a four-star move, so it's hitting decently hard. All right, seven burn, nine. We got rid of slow, bro. Beautiful. Oh no, I messed up. Yes, you did. Now, I'm just going to do this for the heal because I'm not going to... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I I'm not going to be able to reach them anyway. Wait, can I use top speed to get behind them? Is that actually a possibility? Yes, it is. Top speed's busted. With top speed, I'm going all in, baby. All in. You may have lowered my range, but I'm going to lower your lifespan. I can't believe the Kingdra survived. That... Okay, fine. Heal 1 HP. We were supposed to hit Gastrodon this turn. Now that we haven't hit Gastrodon, our Beware is da in danger of dying. And I'd rather Oichi does not die in this fight. Okay, this is the one reason why I was afraid of Gastrodon. They can actually hit Vaporeon. And with defense drops, it'd be problematic. No defense drop and we're fine. So, uh, go ahead, Oichi. I think you've earned the honor. Go ahead and kill this guy. Okay, I thought you'd kill him, but I was wrong. I didn't even look at your damage, honestly. That's my bad. All right, Vaporeon, go ahead. We have taken over Motochika's army. We've taken his base. This has been a hard fight. This was a hard fight. Thank God that... I, I don't know if that thing can poison, but thank God that Slowbro didn't. So, whenever you fight other, you know, kingdoms, look how huge of a link percentage we get. 5%, 4%, 3%, 3%, Everyone that's dead has like 3 5% because Swampert got kills. That's why it's good to battle king enemy kingdoms. However, there are a finite amounts. Oh, we only got Cursula because everyone else we took too long. Ugh, and we didn't use super effective moves and we, you know, we took damage. Yeah, it makes sense. You won fair and square. The kingdom of Fontaine is yours. But even though my castle is lost, my Pokemon will never leave me. Together, we will continue to resist the tides of fate. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Motochika is really cool. And I love that he gets the way cooler Samurott now. All right. So we got one new Pokemon, Cursula. Cursula, Cur Otsu. Join my, Cur join, join my team, Otsu. Join my team. Thank you, I'll do my very best. Yes, you will. Go do your best in Aurora. Alright, we're gonna need to save the game. That battle was so intense. A really fun one, though. I hope you all enjoyed it, because that's gonna be it for this episode. Our battle with, uh, freaking Motochika was legendary, but thanks to some good healing using the map as an advantage, and, uh, obviously Beware's Drain Punch having a healing si a secondary effect, we were able to win that fight. Otherwise, we may have struggled and maybe lost. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking on Motonari's army, or we're going to build up our strength because his army has a thousand power and has some of the best Pokemon I've ever seen. Either way, bye-bye. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.